Hey, what's up everybody? This is Penn here and I thought I'll give you guys a little bit of information and background about Vegas Pro or Sony Vegas. I've been using it since 2007. This is my preferred video editing software of choice. Uh, you can grab it from their website. All links would be in the description. Also, for educational purposes, you can do research here on YouTube and on Google about how to obtain this software. Um, what you do with that is totally up to you. So I've been using Vegas since 2007. I started off using um, the concept of AMVs and AMVs are anime music videos. And um, all it was was gathering animation clips back then and you pick the soundtrack that you liked or that you thought flowed with the clips that you were using and you will simply edit the video. There was two types of that back then. There was the raw footage with the soundtrack and then there was the edited. I was more of an editor back then so I was doing you know multi clips and I was doing certain trackings and things of that nature um yeah that was pretty fun so that was how I got introduced with this software because at the time I saw my peers and my colleagues use it so I figured okay well if I want to be competitive I had to use it so that's just all it was um it was fun you know um, I was a kid, you know, on a computer, and it was just something extra to do, something more to learn, and I invested in myself into the software over the years, okay? So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag in a clip, and I'm going to go over, you know, just just some basics, the features. Uh, there's some tabs down here that I want to highlight for you guys. So, for those of you that are interested in this software and want to use it, um... To me, it's pretty user friendly and, you know, you have your preview window over here. You have your timeline that's huge down below and then you have pretty much where you can grab stuff and edit things from here and drag down. To me, it's, uh, you know, it's very intuitive and pretty straightforward. So I'm going to drag this clip in and I will be right back okay so the clip is in and this is from the video that I had put out earlier giving my team members from MS7 a shout out and highlighting their pages and what they do on their channel briefly okay now there's a few ways to get your content into Vegas you can drag it in just open up your Windows Explorer which mine will be down below and you just drag in the clip onto the program or you can go top where it says file you can go to import and you can import by media you can import media from project AFF um, if you're used to Premiere and After Effects you would use this one Final Cut Pro for those of you that are used to that Final Cut Pro X um, a text file a broadcast wave format a DVD closed captioning so there's various ways to import the simple way to do it for me is for me to just drag in my content that I want inside the program so that way I can get right to the editing and I could just you know get straight to the point so I don't bother with many of the menus inside this program for what I do is still pretty basic to an intermediate level of editing because of what I'm showing you know I'm just educating the end user on things of you know how to save money or use different tools and servers and whatnot so I don't have to do too much as I did you know versus back in the day so all this stuff edit view insert tools options and help um, I pretty much leave those at default I'm mainly looking at the project media which this is the media that's in my project now which is the video from earlier correct I'm looking at my Explorer which is another way to import content using the Explorer and this is my Windows Explorer built into Sony Vegas and I can go to my C drive which is my SSD or my work drive and I can pull up my content from there so your Explorer is how you're going to be accessing the content you wish to pull into your Sony Vegas okay and we got different transitions for videos and I pretty much 
I only use a couple of these for some effects. Um, video effects, this is how I blur some things out that shows personal information or if I feel as though something needs to be blurred while I'm doing a video that I didn't realize while I was doing the OBS recording, then I will come in here and check it out, you know, double check it and see, okay, was there something that I was supposed to like temporarily blur for the tutorial, you know. Then there's media generators. There's different things that checkerboard stuff. Um, they offer credit rolling. So it's just similar to how you would see in movies and, you know, short films. Um, just color gradients, noise textures. Uh, and, you know, different test patterns, you know, often that you'll see on TV or you're used to, you see TV before, you know what they look like, titles and text. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to show you guys is pretty much how I would do, I would introduce. So I'm going to scroll in and you can see I can control it down here. So in the middle of my mouse, I'm just scrolling in so I can get more of the detail of the clip and I'm going to do a fade in offset. So in the upper left hand corner where it says a green it's going to give me a drop down that says a fade in offset and I'm just going to drag until I see some noise coming from my clip and I know I will have noise coming from my clip because I can see based off of the the audio track below you see so if it has some texture or some noise in it that means I'm talking if it has some dry periods that means I'm pausing so for those of you that edited before um, you will know what I'm talking about with that so I could play it hey what's up and then you can see there's a fade there now if I want that fade to be longer all I would have to do is go back and let's say I want to fade it to there so when I'm fading it I'm fading it, it's about one second in let's see hey what's up everybody this is pin here hey what's up everybody this is pin yeah, let's get that a bit more let's do to about yeah let's do it to about there all right I'm gonna play it over again. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Pin here. And so, if you see my videos, that's how I will fade it in, and then I will also do a fade out. But let's say, for example, within this software, I will want to cut something. So I will highlight what I want to cut. I'm gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard to specifically go to a part of the video that I wish to cut, and let's see no matter of fact I'll use my mouse for quicker access and I'll just generate the time okay so let's say that I wanted to do like a transition when I go from channel to channel on the video so I'm gonna press S on my keyboard to split this okay so you see there it's split on the clip from there I can introduce a transition um this is a simple one so i'll just use that one and i'm going to put it in between both of the clips okay so you see the the change is already happening once i put it in and i can play with the 3d blind so here i can mess with the division so let's say that i don't want the default eight i want maybe i want fewer divisions so i can do five extra spins I can push that to one stagger is specular light direction I'll leave that alone so I can press X and then I can see the transition to simply see the transition I will go to a point in the video clip I'll play it for you I'm way down so this is the queen of MS 7 shrinking Sharon uh, you already know and see boom just there uh, it was the transition now it wasn't the smoothest one you can't edit that out or make some um, additional things to it 
but generally that's how you would add in a transition for your video clips I, I think it's pretty neat um okay so let me go through video effects and basically everything that you're going to be accessing is going to be either the menu up top right here for quicker access or it's going to be these tabs where you have your media generators your video effects your transitions your explorer your project media you're going to be clicking through these and up here and you know it's pretty much everything's going to be up here and then what you have to do down here you know you have plenty of space to do it so which is pretty neat all right so i'm going to find another section of the video okay let's stop there with can b and i'm going to split that again by pressing s so uh, high keys are generally important to know and remember for you know easy access so I recommend when you use any editing software or any software that matter that you're going to be doing something productive with uh, do some research you know go into the program settings and take note of the hotkeys or Google the hotkeys or the recommended hotkey system to use and create a system in which you practice using the hotkeys and just get used to having that type of workflow so that way if you're not a menu person or if you don't want to use your mouse constantly you can use the hotkeys I do a mixture of both I'm a PC dude so I'm gonna be using a mouse and the hotkeys I mean that's just me I'll find that works for me some people like to use strictly hotkeys it's completely up to you okay so <clears throat> I'm using my mouse now because I'm trying to find a uh, <laughs> an effect uh okay what how about we do something like a like a vignette it's, it's subtle okay so let's say i wanted to do a vignette here and we can see the process all right so what i do is that you know this vignette you know you see on the outer corners of the screen um, is it's, it's bringing in the focus and you're more focused on you know the welcome to the lounge and the can be um, it, it's a filmic effect It's intentional uh, for cinematic design and a lot of uh, artists use this effect for you know centering the attention on a specific object rather it's a movie from a show animation uh, it's a very nice effect to have and I can control this outer radius so the more I control this radius the more zoomed in and the more focused it is and I can make it to where her whole page disappears <laughs> like that so I'll give it that and yeah I mean uh, that's how you you know add some effect to your videos just for an example for this um behind the scenes tutorial uh media generators i can add a credit i can do like a credit roll to show that off i will just go to the end all right so what i'm going to do is the credit roll and I'm gonna show that off and I'm gonna do I'm just gonna type in MS7 uh, by by pen so this is how you edit your credit roll and you can see the frame size and the preset use here uh, I'm gonna put just MS7 just to fill this up just to have something in this up when I present it to you guys in a few you'll see what I mean all right so that's uh that's it so once I do that I'm going to end it here eyes open and until next time peace out and you see here it shows my credit roll with MS7 by pin and I just put MS7 you know just for filler just to fill this out and you can make it longer um, 
all you have to do is extend this or will it put it in a loop let's see let's see because you can have it repeating by copying and pasting or you can have it just like that where it shows you the same information So yeah, so that's just you know a a overview of you know Vegas, uh, you know in around a fifteen minute mark. You know this is going to be your preview here. Uh, depending on your specs, you can do best, good. I just do best and full. And this is going to be the video quality in the preview window. Um, that's really all that you're going to have to touch here. As far as some basic editing guys, you know, like just to get you up and going. Uh, this program has a lot of stuff that's packed into it that I really don't use because I, I never had to use them, quite honestly. Uh, but pretty much what you're going to be mainly in is over here and down here. <laughs> So this is the, the video track and this is the audio track. How to add multiple tracks, you, you will right click in the empty space and you can open, you can use preference, you can insert your audio track, that is control plus Q, or you can enter an audio track or insert and that is control plus shift plus Q. So when these drop down menus occur, take note of the high keys and this is with any program that you're using. It's not just um, referring to this one and you can insert your track so if I wanted a different video track I would do that and you see it creates another video track right above I'm going to control Z to exit that out control Z it removes your um, your command that you just did alright so I just wanted to show you guys some behind the scenes stuff of when I have to edit videos or when I do certain tutorials um, this is my my workflow I use OBS to record and I use Sony Vegas to do the editing and rendering and you know what just for entertainment sake let me show you guys something I'm going to show you how to how I will go about rendering this uh, video in high definition for educational purposes only I'm gonna go render as <laughs> alright and it's gonna record to my E and I'm gonna pick I can go either way I can pick the high efficiency video coding or I could do you know I do that I'm only doing entertainment sake uh, this is a 1080p 30 second 30, 30 FPS video so what I want would be similar to this and internet HD 1080p I can customize the template um okay audio yep 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 everything's looking fine video rendering quality the best the bit rate is okay and once I do that, I'll press OK. And then I'll enter in my name, for example. Let's say test run, all caps. And I will just press render. And that's it. So that would be how you go about uh, rendering HD. Considering that your source file is in high definition. If your source file is in it's not in high definition then it wouldn't make sense so just another quick tip all right um this is pen sign out thank you everybody for watching the video i appreciate everybody who comes in to watch the channel until next time peace out